Thank you, Emilio. Well, some Missouri lawmakers and death penalty opponents are making a last minute effort to stop the execution of Amber McLaughlin. Fox News' Laura Simon shows us a closer look at the case. Amber McLaughlin would be the first transgender woman to be executed in the United States. McLaughlin was convicted of murdering her ex-girlfriend Beverly Gunther in 2003 in Earth City. She then dumped the body near the Mississippi River. According to our reporting partners at the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, earlier this month, McLaughlin's attorneys asked Governor Mike Parson to commute her sentence to life in prison without parole. Seven retired Missouri judges also asked Parson to call off the execution, saying the trial judge made his own findings contrary to the will of the jury. Death penalty opponents were set to drop off more than 5,000 signatures yesterday at Parson's office opposing the execution. Also on Tuesday, Democratic Missouri U.S. Representatives Corey Bush and Emanuel Cleaver said the jury that heard McLaughlin's case were never presented with crucial mental health evidence and details about a traumatic childhood. They criticized St. Louis County Judge Stephen Goldman's decision in 2006 to impose the death penalty after the jury deadlocked on McLaughlin's sentence. Missouri executed two prisoners this year, Carmen Deck, who killed James and Zelma Long in Jefferson County in 1996, and Kevin Johnson, who killed Kirkwood Police Sergeant William McEntee in 2005. Since Parson took office in June 2018, five executions have taken place after the governor declined to grant clemency. Amber was Scott McLaughlin. At the time of this brutal crime, she transitioned to a woman while on death row. The execution for McLaughlin is set for January 3rd. Reporting in downtown Clayton, I'm Laura Simon.